Welcome to Edutech's new video. So today we are going to uh, create a new website in AWS. Uh, we are going to install the WordPress on a free hosting that's provided by AWS. So first go to this aws.amazon.com and uh, you will find a button for creating a free account. Just click on create a free account and you need to enter some details uh, like your email name and uh, all the details and then you will prompt to enter your credit card or debit card details which will only deduct uh, one dollar or one rupees or one dirhams from your account which is the lowest in your country so that uh, aws can verify your credit card details and that will be that amount will be reverted back to your account within one or two weeks so just create the account and then once you are done, you will get an email address, email confirmation where you can log into your uh, AWS panel. So you need to remember the password and email address. And then you just have to go to aws.amazon.com slash console and just click sign in button. So you have to select I'm um, a root user. Enter your email address, password. Now you will be redirected to the console page of AWS. So you are in the console of AWS, and here you can see um, there uh, there is the name that you have given to your account and uh, the space the region which you're wanted to host so one of the best part of aws is like if your uh, website target audience is uh, from dubai or you can select the baharin uh, region here and if your target audience is from london you can select the server from london so uh, that's one of the best uh, service that's provided by AWS it's speed and it is free and it has a lot of data centers in different countries so you can utilize that now over to services and click on EC2 now you can see the running instances is zero so just click on running instances Okay, now click on launch instances. In the search bar, type WordPress. Click this. Just select this one. Click continue. Now select this free tie eligible, this option. So this is a free tie. Now just click review and launch. Launch. So you will get a um, option to create a new key pair. So select this one and uh, type uh, what you want. Okay, so just text new. Save this uh, in your computer safely. Now go for launch instances. As you can see, my instance is getting launched and it will take around uh, three to five minutes or up to 10 minutes to launch your instance and get. Now go to services, EC2. Now you can see the running instances, uh, instances as one. Just click on that. Once you find um, this, since I have terminated two, uh, it's showing that it will get uh, disappeared in some time. So this is the instance which I have launched. And you can see the status check is two by two and it's running. So it means that uh, the instance is running as of now. So you just have to copy this IP address, IPv4 public IP. So this is the IP address of our website, WordPress website. Just click on this. Get into a new tab and click on this. You can see we have successfully created a WordPress website. Uh, so now we have to know how to 
customize this, connect to our domain name server, log into the backend and customize the website and connect to our domain name server. So what we have to do is slash WP admin, what we used to do for all the websites. Now how to find this credentials? Just go back to your instances, right click on the instance ID, instance settings, get system logs. You can find a lot of information here which are not necessary for us so we will go down until we see this setting bitnami application password to blah 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 so you can see the default application username is user so the username is nothing but user copy this type in user by default is this login now you can see the dashboard of uh, our wordpress website so go to all users there are two options either you can add new user with your email id and password or rather you can just edit the user which is already the user so just input your and uh, click on generate password where you can enter any e address you want file so our next video will be on how to connect your dns to the the domain name edutex.com to this particular wordpress website uh, if you have any doubts or anything you are stuck at uh, just let me know in the comment section below i'll help you out so please uh, click the subscribe button and share if you find this helpful thank you so much bye